Hello. Uh, this is just going to be a quick video here, but I wanted to shed some light on the actions of truly one of the least people that I've ever heard about. So this video deals with the topic of cruelty to animals, and um, while no pictures or videos are shown, um, and the descriptions are pretty circumspect, uh, viewer discretion is still definitely advised. I'm a cat lover. I I've always enjoyed the skittish little fellows. So you can understand uh, why I was upset to learn that this man right here, uh, Wang Chao Yi, has produced and sold videos of himself barbarically torturing and killing upwards of 15,000 cats. Um, and for his dubious efforts, he has made upwards of $700,000 over the course of about 10 years. Now, I'm not going to go into the details of the videos. Um, they're out there if you absolutely must know, but I strongly discourage looking it up. Um, suffice to say, uh, the cats do not like it. Now, does he need the money? Was he cast aside by society? Uh, he's taken out his pain on frustration on animals, whatever. No, he's an investment banker. He has a family and shit. Like, he just sucks. He, he's doing it for the love of the game. So this has parallels to the incredibly disturbing trend of uh, monkey torture videos uh, being sold clandestinely online and produced in Southeast Asia. Um, however, after authorities were alerted in the monkey torture case, the people responsible were arrested, uh, they were disarmed, and hopefully, I assume, sentenced to trial by monkey. Um, however, uh, when the Chinese authorities uh, were alerted of the existence of, you know, the Oscar Derlowinger of cats, they are kind of just like, you know, like, oh yeah, cat guy, um, yeah, what do you do? Oh, no, I, I thought, no, those, those are just cats. I thought you said he did something bad. Um, so there really needs to be stricter enforcement of the purchase of this sort of, you know, so-called crush content uh, where animals are tortured and killed for the sexual gratification of the viewer. The entire reason this industry exists at the scale that it does is because people are paying for it. And, you know, let me, in, let me let you in on a secret here, okay? The only reason it's just animals is because these are people who don't have enough money to commission real snuff films. They're not any less evil, they're just broke. They're sickos. If they had more money, they'd be getting their rocks off uh, to people getting off with rocks. You know, even if you're not an animal lover, clearly this is just not the sort of thing that can be allowed to be enabled. Uh, serial killers start with small animals. This is no different. It, so I can't really say too much more about him because I worry that, you know, anything else that I would have to say would legally fall under the definition of making death threats towards a foreign national, which is presumably illegal. So instead, on an entirely unrelated note, in order to lighten the mood a little bit, I'd like to read a poem I wrote um, called Death Threat Towards a Foreign National. Please keep in mind that this is a work of artistic self-expression and any similarities to real persons, whether living or dead, is entirely unintentional. If you ever find yourself in the position of needing to go on a business trip to America for your job as an investment banker at ICBC Nanning, Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region, I advise you to get plastic surgery and change your name. Because if you are recognized here as Wang Chao Yi, we are going to feed you testicles first into a deli slicer. Ling Chi, death by a thousand cuts? More like death by a billion cuts. We will come up with entirely new things to do to you. Congratulations. You have won a free Neuralink. Please report directly to the brain mechanic for installation. We have specifically requested the prototype version. Thank you. Call me right, I creep at night. Possibly deep is how I creep. Call me right.